Good afternoon folks, my name is Pablo Monte. this is the Team Network, and today is Tip Thursday. We're going to go over 10 ways that you can easily implement into your life to reduce your chance of cancer. Let's get right into today's video. Today's video might be up a little later than usual. It's been an extremely long day from 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. I just got home and I am completely exhausted. It's been a long day, but it's been a very rewarding day. Anyways, I digress. Let's get right into the video. This is an article from Fox News. I found it really interesting. It's 10 tips, 10 easy ways you can implement these tips into your life to decrease your chance of cancer in these different areas. Tip number one, sweat daily. It has been proven that there's a 68% chance that if you sweat daily, you decrease the chance of getting cancer. So cardio, weightlifting, biking, anything. Exercise, sweat daily, that reduces your chance of cancer. Tip number two, this applies for a lot of guys, especially skip fried foods. No fries, no french fries, no onion rings, chicken fried, fried chicken, anything like that. If you eat it more than once a week, your chances of getting cancer increase. So just minimizing the fried food if you can, get it baked or just skip out on it completely. It's not healthy, it's not good for your health for your lifestyle, so just try to cut it out of your diet. Sipping pomegranate juice has been proven to lower your chances of cancer. I absolutely love pomegranate, pomegranate juice, they, it is just delicious. So go find it at your local store, it also decreases your chance of cancer. The next tip is pretty simple, just go get screened. Getting screened tests you if you have cancer, if you have the chance of getting cancer, if you have a tumor, things of that nature to make sure you catch it if you have it early. If you catch cancer early, it is easier to beat in the end. So just get screened on a regular basis to make sure you are healthy, you are safe. Snacking on blueberries also helps you out lower your chances of getting cancer. You can put it in ice cream salads, cold salads, you can put it in your cereal. There's a number of different foods and varieties of ways you can implement blueberries into your diet. It's recommended at least one cup a day of blueberries. It's a great way to help you prevent cancer from developing in your body. The next tip is befriending fiber. A person with a high fiber content in their diet lowers the chance of them receiving cancer or the cancer cells developing in their body. So just eat some fiber in your daily diet. This tip probably applies to a lot of people. It regards sleep. Make sure you are sleeping in a healthy manner. Get your full hours of sleep depending on your age and it's healthy, good quality sleep. I am speaking for myself especially, I don't get a lot of sleep, so I'm definitely gonna try to improve that because of this study. You guys, you can change it. It's not incredibly difficult. This next one probably applies to a lot of students, especially get up more. It's been proven that 92 cases of cancer can be blamed on sitting too much, so get up, get off your butt, and get on your feet for a little bit during the day. Every hour, set a minute aside, set a timer, just get up, get off your desk chair, get off your desk, and just walk a little bit, move your feet around, and that'll help you. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. I guess we don't think about it that much, but you guys can implement it into your everyday life. This next one can be achieved just as easily. Vitamin D is another way to lower your risk of cancer. The last tip we have for today on this topic is go nuts. Eating three Brazilian nuts a day can help you reduce your chances of cancer. A Harvard study shows that this increase in amount of Brazilian nuts that you eat lowers your percentage by 48% for prostate cancer. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave all the links down below necessary. Go visit teennetwork.org. We have new content every single day. We just added three new writers to our board, Victor, Faith, and Joanna. They all have introductions on the website, so go check that out. They're gonna be providing great content for you guys, and they're just like you, teens, everyday teens that have wonderful advice to give to the everyday teen that's watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section down below and I will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Like the video if you liked it, it helps the channel out a ton. Go visit the website like I said, there's always a bunch of great content to be looked at and read and just being explored, so go check it out. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, it helps us out a lot and more subscribers, more views, the more you share on Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, Google+, the more exposure we get the more we are able to affect your life in a positive manner. So just get the word out, the Teen Network by Teens for Teens to help you guys out in the everyday lives, high school stress, volunteering opportunities, job opportunities, news, movies, all you can need, this network provides for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. You've been watching the Teen Network. Have a nice day.